So hello guys and welcome to another video. Um, today I want to talk about um, something that it's been quite annoying for me in Foundry BTT and it's the whenever I whenever one of my players um, has made a character with either um, a, like um, not ne not necessarily a homebrew but because we don't actually none of them has a homebrew race or subclass or class but a race or class or subclass that isn't in in Foundry BTT normal like um well in a standard D and D uh, companion pack. So and I'm sure a lot of people face this problem because well we don't actually like, we paid like fifty something euros or dollars or whatever currency is in your country for combined Foundry and we don't want to pay like another thirty dollars thirty euros for this like Tasha's cauldron of everything's back or sanitar's back so um whenever my play one of my players has made a character with a race or a class or a subclass that isn't in the normal standard compendium and there are a lot of them i have faced well i was facing that issue whoops that was too fucking loud sorry i have faced that issue and i was thinking how do i create a custom class and I wasn't finding anything on the internet so I it's not I, it's actually pretty simple pretty easy I think most people can realize it but I'm just making this video because if you're as stupid as I am you probably won't have seen it at least for for a while but um yeah so for example if we go to a character right um let's just make a new character new player character just naming him test so if you go here, for example, and want to give him a species, a custom speed, well, we have this custom, like normal set of standard D and D races. But here we don't have races such as, for example, one of my players is a changel, ch changeling. I don't know how to pronounce that in English, but and then uh, another one of them is an air genasi, genasi. I, again, don't know how to pronounce that in English, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, and. I was thinking, where is the button to create a new ra a new race, a new a custom race? And same thing with uh, with the background, for example, because there's only the accolade background, although that's not as important as a race or a class or a subclass. And same thing with the classes or the subclasses, because if we go, for example, to cleric or uh, fighter, for example, we only have one subclass, and same thing applies to the other to the other mm, play, cl uh, classes oops wait let's just put a random number I just want to show you um I think martial architect I just want to show you that uh there's only one okay I don't know why it doesn't show but it's fine there you go here there's only one subclass, and same thing with each of the um, each of the races, like classes. Sorry. So, how do we create a custom personalized class or subclass or race? So it's pretty simple, actually. But as I said, you may have not seen it. Um, so we go to items, right? And then we go to create item, and then here you can make a class. Species, subclass. So let's just create species and then um, details, intellect, humanoid, or whatever else you want to select. Movement, type of movement you want to select, and senses, just dark vision, blind sight, and plenty of customization. And the description, and then on details, this is just the identifier. If you're creating a custom subclass, that will look slightly different because here you have to write the class identifier from the class that you are making the subclass of. So for example, if you're making a subclass for fighter class, you can find it's usually some it's, it's like it's gonna be I know it's gonna be fighter because for cleric it was cleric, but you can find it if you go to classes in the compendium. We go to fighter. Um, here, details, and firefighter, so, as I said, pretty simple. So, 
subclass, we put a, a class identifier here. You can put the name, whatever name you want in here. Um, this is about progression. Um, I guess I'm not sure what that changes, but yeah, and then spellcasting ability increases. Yeah, it's the subclass. Operation formula. I'm, I'm actually not sure either what it is, but so then here we can add a typical class um, features, right? For example, the barbarian level one he gets weapon proficiencies, features, ra ra rage damage, rages, hit points, all of these things, right? So if we want to add something like this. And then we just um, select here, go here, and then, for example, run items. And in here, you can give spells if you want. If you, it's very um, typical of subquests to give you certain spell at level three, level five, level whatever, or features, which is something that we really want. So. Um, for example, let's just say when I give a feature, um, um, let's just say this subclass we have, we have here has a feature of doing something whenever you attack an enemy, so you can easily create the feature here and create item, go to feature, and then again you do your stuff in here. Um, you can, I'm pretty sure, like I'm convinced you can like automate, like make every like all of this um, automatic. Like you can adapt features from subclasses into here instead of making it like just making it manually like I'm doing it because I had to make a subclass for one of my players right so let's me let me give me a second let me just delete this real quick so I had to create um well I had to create two things first of all the Ergenazi race for my player so I just um. We'll like mm, copy copy the description here. Out of the movement, the senses, creature type humanoid. On details, just random identifier. And on advancement, um, all the uh, the uh, features of the Ergenazi. I'm not sure if I'm leaving something here because I feel like it should have something else at higher levels, but I'm not. I I, I don't think so. So we see ability score improvement, size. Uh, medium language is common in one of the language lightning resistance and mingle with the mind which is one of the, the features of um, the Urkinasi and so this one gives a shocking grasp cantrip ability modifier wisdom and then this other one gives the feather fall actually I should change this into this but this one gives the feather fall um, spell and this one gives the limited spell and then we go to subclass because this player is a cleric but it's a grave domain cleric so i had to create the subclass i copied the description here on details you see class identifier cleric so whenever you pick a cleric here so for example let's just say cleric select oops didn't mean to do that um, it's just random stuff. We don't care about this. I just want to show you. There you go. And then on subclass. Um, I'm not sure what it, what it, why. Oh, actually, oh, because this is the companion browser. But we can just do here, do this, and then circle of mortality. All the all the features from the subclass, which I'll show you in a second. And then if we level up to level three, let's just see it. The features you can see all the things that. The cleric, the grave domain cleric, gets at every level. So if you go to level two, we should get um, this feature. So let's just go level two, random dice. Next, next, and then we see this. It's giving us this. It's giving us this feature of besides the normal channel divinity and stuff from that random from the from the cleric class. So this is what I was meaning by I don't have this like automatic. Um, so the player, I try to, and and I think it works, but I'm not sure. Um, so the player basically has to um, select this feature and attack 
whatever enemy they want to mark with this curse. And that enemy will, ha will have this effect applied on them, supposedly. I, sh I think I tried it earlier and I think it works, but I'm not quite sure. But I, so yeah, I managed to automat automatize that. I'm not even sure that's the word. But yeah, and at level 6 we get this, for example, and then this. I didn't manage to do anything with it because this is just stuff that it's like, for example, at 6th level you have the ability to impede death's progress. So as a reaction, you can, like, as a reaction from a crit, uh, crit die from an enemy in like within 30 feet of you you can like uh, make the attack into a normal hit so I'm not I I'm, I actually have no clue at all how to make that into like how to make that out automatics how to program that in in foundry I'm not an expert but I I added this so at least the player I can like see it on the on the character a sheet so they know it's there and then I added the description, so whenever they use it, we can all read it in the chat, so we can see what it what it does exactly. And yeah, that's most of like of way of what I can do for now. Also, um, adding uses. So for example, eyes of the grave. Um, you can see at the first level, you gain the ability to occasionally, occasionally sense the presence of the undead and stuff. So um, if the player uses that. Uh, one of the uses will be removed. Um, also, this is not automatic because this is you can use this as many times as your wisdom proficiency, uh, your wisdom modifier, sorry. And this play has plus three, so it's three uses, but it doesn't go up with level. Again, I'm not sure how to do that, but this is what I managed to do as long as subclasses, custom subclasses and races and classes are go. Also I added a custom background but I only did it just so he could just add the new two new languages just because it looked pretty. But it, it isn't really necessary. Backgrounds aren't really um I don't really add too much so they you don't usually have to add the background to the play and as a, and unless you just want to add it because for fun actually I guess. But yeah, so that's the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if it was at least a bit useful, I know something pretty pretty simple. But if it was a, if it was sorry, I can't speak today. If it was a bit useful, at least hope you enjoyed it, and hope you give a like and subscribe if you want, if you really want to. So yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day, and see you next time.